the most experience playing against either. It's, it's not picked very much lately. Um, I'm just saying Matthew has the golden blades, you know. Golden blades on the back. Experienced player. That's how to play. Passes away to get it from the mid to the top lane. I'll tell you something. This this Queen of Pain is really annoyed right now. It's playing against Mana Burn with Quap sucks. It's super annoying. He actually doesn't even have mana to blink right now, so oh, they're going to go aggressive dead? on him. I think it's fine. Uh, one more hit with the overcharge may just be enough. Here comes Matthew. They see him oh, in the GG trees. Branch. The GG branch blocks him out. Yab's yeah, also low. The attack will be enough. Tomato will take the first blood in mid lane. What an elaborate bait. <laughs> it's, it looks so good, yet so wrong. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it makes the sentry free. Bottom lane can... Wow. I think Tekka's going really deep here on Kessel. Is he actually just going to try he's, and dive He's got here? bonus damage and bonus move for speed. Oh, the spirit! He does it solo! All right. Oh, infamous 2-0 against Team Secret. Never count out a South American team. So this yeah. is a Quap favorite lane, right? Yeah. Mid one is 32 and 8, and the Queen of Pain of Tomato is 16 and 7. So he's being doubled up. Of course, there was a lot of pressure from Yapsor, so I don't know how this affects, like, should definitely help the Storm, but I don't think this is how, on paper, the matchup goes. He's oh. just being out. I'm skilled here. Rotation is coming towards top. It's a 1 1 1 build in for the Ricky, so he does have that smoke screen available. They'll pick up the Keeper of the Light, throw him back down again, and MP can't really do much to save Puppy. In fact, he knew it. He wasn't even going to expend mana to throw out some kind of like intimidation lance. You, you've been Americanized in your couple of days here, have you? Classic American word. Oh, let's see. Oh, there There's goes your the pickup. Splitter. Into the splitter straight away. Yapsol wants to help out. Spy Carapace is down. He's done. Catches the Ricky. After the Totem so It's going to be so much damage. And the dust is there. Matthew will die in the trees. MP is rotated over as well. Looking for the kill onto a cell. Who tries to juke it around in the corner. Not going to work. MP will get himself a kill as well. It looked like a fantastic setup, but. Minute 10. Doesn't make tall ring of a bit, bro. It's a stun. Oh. Echo will come. Yeah, with a vendetta Good hit. Smoke nice screen. low screen. The Corona will catch out too. The splitter is there from Tekka, and it slaps back the Earth, Earth Shaker. Nyx Assassin needs to run away out this one. He's got no MVs. He cannot TP. There's nothing to do apart from to die to the Faceless Void. Infamous get what they want. Or will he? Got to be careful when you've got no Chronosphere. Uh, Puppy is bringing in help. Uh, he's actually bringing in the Nyx Assassin on a recall. So, Rubik. Oh, that's not where you want to be. Yapsol is stunned. The Illumina's a little bit off target. But oh, it may not ah. matter. Spike Carapace causing problems. And the attack from Puppy. It's pretty fast though, but stop. Just miss it. They missed the uh, replacing me and five. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you, you, you see the reason. Like, Puppy is building him for the mech. Uh, mid lane, really nice control. Vortex back, and Tomato will drop. But Puppy's trying to go for both the four staff as well as the mech. This is a very expensive thing to do. This is the reason why they were stacking, allowing him to actually farm those stacks as well on the top lane. Yeah. I understand the critical items he needs to get, and then Kezu can start buying items. I think it's a very good game for Aghanims on Caudal, actually. I wonder if Kezu. he's just gonna... Puppy often keeps this casual buckler. He might just go Ags after the four staff. Uh, yeah, saw Spike Carapace is nice, goes for the stun, gets the double. Over on Rubik and Faceless Void, keeping him out of the fight. Fissure as well. Current Spear now committed. The Illuminate and Planting Light, making it very difficult for Infamous to get the damage in, especially when the Illuminate destroys the Rubik with combination of mid one. Kezu gets the Echo Slam off. Faceless Void, nowhere to jump to. And that is Team Secret. Courier Snipe. Yep. And that's a lot of items on that Courier. On mid one, that is. Very, very cocky moving up all this way. Oh, the Illumina's yeah. gonna connect! Benjaz wrecked on the top lane. Mid one could be the confident one, but he just ball lightnings away and TP's out. Team Secret's chaining of abilities is so damn good. But it just it puts extra pressure on them to be in the right position with the right heroes. And they, you know, Point. Oh! oh! Caught him on the edge of the Chronosphere. The fish will buy some time. The Echo Slam as well! Kezu is hit three perfectly on the back lines. Storm Spirit may die. He'll be back up in a second. Thanks to Bloodstone. The Illuminate flies through. Catches the back lines. The puppy will find that kill. Faceless Void. He's completely bone dry. Three heroes gone. Matthew will run west where the skies are blue. And Tomato will TP himself all the way back to safety of the tier of the of the fountain.
Allowing Yamsel to walk right underneath the sentry wall, having no reveal. Now Storm Spirit jumps forward. Benjaz already commits the time walk. He's expecting all of the initiation to come in, but the fissure from Kezu in the right spot. Now slam down the face of Void. Maybe the tricks of the trade. No! He tried to time walk once more, a fraction of a second away from completing it. The dust is out. So Ricky is being revealed, but what do you do? Commit splitter into this? Smoke screen's down again. The splitter is there, but it'll hit absolutely nada. The mech is done and set from the Keeper of the Light, and PL, he's going in. They've got the Fuser Blade up. Rubik will be dying inside the base, or will he? He has the doppelganger to escape with. Meanwhile, Secret has been very swift and very good at connecting their heroes. Patience Place. from Yapsaw. Korea, got him. Misses the stun on Ben Chaz, but Kezu's here. And they're quite happy to break the Lincolns with the mana burn. Uh, Doppelganger MP can just send his illusions in. The Spy Carapaz will hold him there to get burnt off a little bit more. Void really wants that Chrono. Mid one being dragged in. Have they got the control? There's no silence out on him. In fact, actually on the Storm Spirit. Echo Slam and the Illuminate. The damage. Still not enough to save the Storm Spirit. And Ben Jazz actually commits a space creation Chrono to get back into relative safety. He actually didn't die. Wow. They got the dust on Yapsor himself. Yep. Sentries are down. Matthew is getting some very important info right now that they can play around if they want. Well, last to. time Mid One was here, he put down a remnant. So, hey, Stream, Mid One's getting body blocked up. They realize somebody is there. Throwing it back with the Telekis' grab, but MP into the back lines. Destroys the Rubik quickly. And that is a lot of MP fighting for the secret cause. Not so secret now. Storm Spirit jumping forward after Ben Jazz. They trigger the Lincoln Sphere. That allows Vortex to come in. And, uh, well, a quick time walk up. They'll go back into burning off his mana, keeping the control there with the with the ES. Doing a lot of the lifting and yap saw solo kill for Queen of Pain. He's got the Vendetta. He can even run Courier as bait. He's got four staff available too. A tomato. Blink and run. Blink and run. Kezu. That wrong way. Guessed poorly. Or maybe he guesses wisely. In the pit. He follows him. And then, yeah. He really just wanted an easy pick off with that orchid, and he won't get it. In fact, now, they're keeping him in viz for the moment. They actually see the... They don't have the sentry in range. But aggressive Obs Ward down, Yapsaw moves in, they pick him up. There's that Obs and Sentry doing work, Yapsaw, he cannot break free. The Orchid controlling him too well. Nyx again on the hunt. Observer's giving him all the vision he wants on the Faceless Void. So there's your Vendetta hit, stun, and then follow up. Mid one gets the perfect control, smoke screen from Matthew. He just walked a little bit too far. Actually jumps up to his own courier. Did he just own, attack his own courier with that? I think he blink striked it. Yeah, he blink striked it and then atta attacked it once. He is out of dust, but there's still a sentry ward. Keja controls him. The stuns, the control is too good. Mid one really needs to. I was thinking an orchid of his own, but it's actually what he's building into. This should be a tier three, at the very least. 20 seconds. No buybacks on these two. Some people will be claiming this. Could also just end up being a barracks as well, we'll see. And Elder Titan is very good for these situations. Good stalling. Tomato's trying to work out if he commits a Sonic Wave. Like he, he put his wings up like he was about to just release and counter push it. But even if Team Secret don't get the racks here, I, obviously they want to get some kills, but they can just back off and take the shrines if they want to. Sentries down from both sides. That one Sentry Ward from uh, the Dias will get rid of both of the Sentries of Team Secret. And... okay. Girls mid, no fall up a mid one. Where are they going? Okay, they're gonna go bottom tier two. Smoke is available for Infamous. They actually have two smokes. They have three smokes. Time to make some moves, I think. It's gotta be. Oh, or else they are gonna Whoa, make them for you. Jump from the storm. He's trying to actually dodge, I think, the original smoke cloud. But Kezu, he's in the back lines. It's a big creep wave. He can echo slam it if he wants to. The Titan's not too, too committed at all. Instead, they chrono and sonic wave. Infamous can get some damage back. But the neck charge, in fact, the full Greaves charge, has done work from Puppy, keeping the rest of Team Secret alive. They won't dive underneath the tier 3 tower. They'll let the illusions do that. 
but they take the tier two and look to push harder. There's those sentry wards now. Ricky. They don't Cycle exist. Courier. Got it. Dust from Yapsor, he's gonna blink down to the Ancients. He's probably gonna get out of this one, Matthew, but... Struggling with his base. MP still taking the tier three tower on bottom lane. So, yeah, you can have that little quick battle. The tier three tower, the catapult, it does the work from the low ground. And they're still on the back of Ricky. Another reveal, the sentry ward is down now. Ricky Maru will be shut down. So now you've lost your tier three tower on the top and the bottom. Kezu can be hunting Tomato. If he walks in range of the creep wave, Echo Slam, plus the stomp, it may just be enough. In fact, he starts with the hit into the Echo, and a very simple and effective kill, allowing mid one to have more confidence. No Queen of Pain means no silence, and Benjaz has no Chronosphere either. He can go for that time dilation, but MP burns off all of the mana, and there really is no other way for us to fight now. You can buy it back, but Chrono is still down. A little bit of mech protection for a second there, but it's already gone again. So Secret will be taking this lane. Could just cross all the way to top if they want, but I think they might try to go through mid instead. First off. They're shopping at the Dyer shop. Alright. Uh, uh, gem good to get some items. Yeah, so just picked up a gem from their shop. Especially you think, like, you have limited gems. If you buy the gem from the Dyer store as it's Radiant. Still it's still your own. I know, but like, imagine if you could actually steal oh. their gem. Or steal their cooldown timing. With item purchases. That would be something. That would actually be hilarious. Uh, next level strategy is Ricky. Almost dragged out of range of that Radiant Sentry that was further up the lane. This is going to be almost three full lanes of racks. Infamous last hurrah. Smoke up. They have to get the Chronosphere. Mid one jumps in, triggers his BKB. He walks in deeper. Just to jump out again, the Chrono Speed is down. His BKB is lasting forever. The ET Splitter will still have an effect, but mid one, enough life to jump away to safety. And MP making more and more of himself. Agent MP at the moment. The Orchid, the control, they turn. Tomato will fall. Queen of Pain down, and there it is. GG. Took 33 minutes for a GG call out from this one. And Team Infamous, they realize it. Game one is Team, Se is team Secrets. Secret looking good. I like their picks. I like the way they moved around together, the coordination of their spells. The other side, 